All right, guys. So today's look is super dramatic, but it's also super easy to achieve. I love me a dramatic eye look that's easy to achieve. Uh, I'm literally using only three shades from this entire eyeshadow palette. Also, I'm coming down with something, so please excuse my nasally voice. Uh, but anyways, let's jump right into the tutorial. I'm starting off by taking the shade Sunder on my Sedona Lace EB14 brush, and I'm just going to start layering this in my transition. After that, I'm going to take the shade Vivo, which is a beautiful bright orange on my Morphe M433. And I'm just going to start buffing and blending it a little low in my crease. Once I'm satisfied with the way it's sitting in my crease and in my transition, I'm then going to reach for my Sigma E36, which is a very fine detailing brush. Uh, and I'm just going to put a little bit more of the shade Vivo directly into my crease. For the third and final shade that I'm using to create this look, I'm reaching for the shade Indigo which is a beautiful matte navy blue from the palette. Starting really low close to the lash line and then slowly working my way up and blending it in my crease. After I've blended the blue in my crease, just to make sure that I still have a little bit of vibrance and orange showing up, I'm gonna reach for my Sigma E36 one more time and pack a little bit more of the shade Vivo directly in my crease. After that, I'm going to reach for my Maybelline Edge Wine Concealer on the back of my hand and taking a little bit on an angled brush, I'm just going to clean my brow bone. Then I'm taking my Maybelline Master Drama Cool Eye Pencil and putting it in my tight line. For my waterline, I'm using the Colourpop Eyeliner in the shade DLTA, which again is a beautiful navy blue. And I'm just going to line my waterline. After that, on my Morphe M431, I think that's the brush, I'm just going to take a little more of the shade Indigo and I'm really going to pack it on my lower lash line. And then with my Morphe M432, I'm going to take a little bit of the Vivo and blend that out. And finally, just to soften the entire lower lash line situation, I'm reaching back for the shade Sunder one more time and just going to blend those colors out. For my inner corner and my brow bone highlights, I'm reaching for the Sleek Makeup Solstice Highlighting Palette. Um, I'm layering two shades together. First, I'm going in with the Voily Tea shade from the palette and then layer it with the Champagne shade. For my brow bone, I'm just using the Champagne shade. Um, I don't know if these shades have any names, but that's what I'm choosing to call them. I am going to be wearing falsies, but just so my natural lashes can blend in nicely with the fake ones, I am going to be putting a really light coat of mascara on my upper and my lower lashes. And finally, I'm just going to pop on these 3D mink lashes. I don't have a brand name for them, I just get them here in China and they are awesome, compatible to like Huda lashes and velour lashes. They are amazing and reusable. So I'm just going to put them on. And that's about it for this eye look. Super easy, right? Doesn't take a lot of time. It took me about five minutes on each eye to do this eye look and I really liked it. Um, it's easy to achieve and it still makes a statement. If you liked it too, please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.